Hello, my name is Emmanuel Briffa and I'm going to deliver this video in order to show the execution of the code and how it is processed. Mela, basically we have we have two two libraries which are going to be used throughout the code that is socket and the time. We will explain them later. We have the first the first group of code which is basically the group of multiclass, the server address, and a request for for the user of the server of how many users are going to be connected, of how many clients actually are going to be connected to the server. In the first in the first area, we will have we have a function that is going to split the file in half. We are going, and we have another, not in half, in, in chunks, in smaller chunks of 104 kilobytes. And we have another function that is going to read the size of the file. Here, in, in, in this area, we have a unicast socket connection, which will be used to transfer information about the clients that are going to be connected. And we have another another socket connection another not actually socket connection another socket creation of multicast one for multicast and one for unicast in this area we will we are we are waiting for the client to connect to the server and by that we are sending a unicast message to all the clients that are willing to connect and and basically the client is going to send back is going to send back the reply with the m message with the server address and everything and basically then it starts to send to send the file we are going to insert a message that is going to be sent with the file and uh, and here we are opening the f we are reading the directory of the file we are opening the file and reading it as binary we are getting the file size and we are sending the file size prior to the to the file that is going to be sent and then we are sending the file in chunks of 1024 by executing that function that we declared above and we are giving a network delay of 0 0.02 and then we are closing the the sockets going to the to the client area we have the same we have the same things declared over here the group the server address and the buffer size we have the same unicast multicast um, uh, sockets that are created over here we have the function that is going to send the messages in order for for the client to connect to the server and now we are receiving the message the first message that is sent before the the file and here we are receiving we are receiving the file the file the file is being is being received and it works in in, uh, in this process we said that the file size was sent prior of the file this is because when the file is arriving the server does not know how long um, the client does not know does not know how long the file the file is 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 as in bytes or chunks how many chunks it needs to receive so so then it starts the process by receiving 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 until until the file matches the file size it was sent prior of the file and then it closes writing the file and uh, and closes the communication and now we will see how the file how the file is going to work I was already trying to check if everything was all right we are going to run the server first we have only one user in this case and the server is now waiting for the client we are going now to run the client the client is now connected to the server in fact it is waiting for the server to send the file we have a reply from this client we are going to send 
a hello message together with the file and now the file is being sent as you can see the file from here is being sent in chunks and now it is being received it will take some time because we tried with with files that are a little bit bigger so we can check um so we can check how 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 many how many errors we can we can see when sending the file and any problems we can encounter when the file was tried with um to be sent without the network delay the, the file arrived in a in a in a state which was not good in fact there i i think there was a problem with with the reordering of packets the the client was not was not able to receive every every packet beside each other so there was a problem it is further documented in the in the documentation that was provided with the project now we are still seeing that the file is being arrived and there, there is only a small network delay so the packets can arrive after each other and the, the file is arrived and it can be found in the desktop this is the original the original file that it was sent and this is the file that it was received we can can make them beside each other to show that there was a little bit of time let's all right and th these are the two images arrived with no difference at all between each other and that was a brief description about about the code thank you very much and bye bye